Hi everyone, this is Tim from milehighthemes.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to create tabs and accordions on your product pages using our themes. So the process is very similar regardless of which theme you're on. Here I'm showing you Pursuit and you can see that we have tabs here showing full width where you can show your product description, you can have other custom tabs, you can show your product reviews, and this is Showtime. And in here we have product accordions over here that can have different information. And the same is true in our Galleria theme. As you can see, we have accordions over here. These are set up similarly for all themes. So we're just going to run through one of them and take a look at those options and how to set it up. So in this case, I'm going to use the Showtime theme to run us through this. So I have Showtime installed here. I'm going to click Customize. Firstly, I'm in the online store themes area. I'm going to customize the theme. And now I need to get to a product page. So I'm going to click products from this dropdown. And we're just going to edit the default product template. Now it should be noted that if you have other templates that you've created for your products, then you may need to make these changes more than once. Because if you change the default product template, it's going to affect all the products that are using that template. So here we are on our product page, and you can see that we have a couple of different accordions here. We have product information, which is just our product description field that we populate from within Shopify's admin area for the product. And we have this have a question accordion where someone can submit a question about this. So if we want to add some new ones, um, we can take a look at the blocks over here. So under product information here, you can see all the blocks that are currently active on this product. So you can see we have product information right here, which is this accordion, and then have a question, which is this accordion. So if I want to add another accordion, I can click Add Block. And there's quite a few different options here. So you'll notice for accordions that we have text, page, and specs. So text would just be some text, obviously. So if you just wanted to show some custom text on your product pages, you could add this one. If you want to show more detailed, more formatted text, you could show a page. So in this case, you would create a page in your Shopify admin, and then you could show that page right within the accordion. And finally, you can set up a specs accordion for the Showtime theme specifically, where you can add product specs to a product. So in this case, we're just going to deal with the text for now. So I'll go ahead and add that. We can see that it added it underneath our social sharing buttons here. So we can simply drag this up and we will have it right here after this have a question tab. So to edit the options for this, I'm just going to click on it. And you can see we can change the heading. So I'm gonna change this to specifications. And you can see that it's updated here. If we want, we could add an icon next to it. I'm not going to deal with that for now. And then we can type in some content. The, this is specifications text. So that's pretty easy. We've added this specifications accordion here. And we've got some text underneath. We could add whatever text we want. We've got some different formatting options here and we can save this. So now you'll notice that on all of your product pages, since we edited the default product template, all of our product pages are not going to have this specifications accordion here. And it's going to have this text in it specifically. So let's say we wanted to make this text different on every product page. In that case, we would have to use dynamic sources. So you might notice this little icon up here that says insert dynamic source. We're going to use that to populate different text for this accordion on different product pages. So for now, I'm going to exit here and I'm gonna go back into our admin and I'm gonna to go to settings and then I'm going to go to custom data. So this is where we can add custom data, otherwise known as meta fields, to our products. 
So in this case, I'm going to click products. And you can see there's probably going to be some in here, even if you haven't created any. Sometimes apps use these. Sometimes you might have created them yourselves. But this is where we need to be. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new definition. And we're going to call this specifications. And we don't need to choose any of these other options. I'm just going to click what I typed in. And this description field is just for our own knowledge, so it's not really important for anything, but we'll go ahead and say specifications, text, or products. And now we'll choose the type. So we can either choose a single line text if it's just going to be some short text, multi-line text if it will be more detailed text, and there's a whole bunch of different options here. So take a look at those. Um, but in our scenario, we're just going to use multi-line text, actually rich text. So rich text allows us to have some formatting. So I'm going to go ahead and click rich text, and then I'm going to save this. So now we see our specifications meta field is created and it's assigned to zero products. So with that being done, I'm going to exit here. And now if I go to any product page in my admin, let's try this authentic toaster. I'm gonna to scroll down to the bottom and you'll see these are all the meta fields that we have for this, that we've have created in our custom area. So you see our specifications is right here on the top. If I click in it, then a rich text box appears, and a rich text just means that it has these formatting options. So I can specify content for just this product using this meta field. So I'm going to say this is the specifications text for the, what is this called again? Authentic toaster product. And then I will save that. So great, I have populated a specifications meta field for this product. Now, back in my admin, instead of just typing text in this field, I'm going to clear it out. And then I'm going to click insert dynamic source. And there is my specifications meta field that I just created. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. It's automatically populated the box and I'm going to save. So now if I scroll down, I have a specifications box in here, but you see that it's empty for this product, and that's because I haven't specified any data for this particular product. The only one I specify data for is for the authentic toaster. So what I'm gonna do is I could either search up here using this or use the store navigation to get to the authentic toaster product, or I can go back here and change the product that I'm previewing. So I'll click change here and I'm going to type in toaster, find the authentic toaster. So I'm now previewing that product. And if I scroll down to the specifications, there is the custom text that I entered for that product. So that's just a quick video showing you how you can have either static or dynamic content in tabs or accordions on your product pages. Now I'll briefly run through how we would do this for the other themes. So that was show time. Now I'm going to go over and take a look at pursuit, online store, themes. And there's the pursuit theme. I'm going to customize that. And again, the steps are the same. I'm going to go to products and then I'm going to edit the default product template. So we have tabs here. So the pursuit theme, the tab, the um, different block options are a little bit different in each of the themes. The pursuit theme, we can add accordions using it, an accordion with a product description, an accordion showing page content, an accordion for product reviews, accordion for just regular text. And then we also have tabs. 
So let's go ahead and add an accordion. Um, in this case, I'll just choose the product description and it shows up right here. And I can click on the block, change the heading, product description. And this is just showing the actual product description that I've set in the admin for this. So with the pursuit theme, you can use accordions or tabs. So this is an accordion, and then these are tabs. So again, with tabs, we have description, which is what this is. It's just, again, showing our product description here. We have reviews. And we also have page or text. So these are populated in the exact same way I just showed you in Showtime. You would just add a text tab here, click on it, and then you can either have static text in here by just typing in here and it will show on all product pages, or you can click insert dynamic source, create a meta field for it, and populate that here. The same is true for Galleria. I'll just quickly go to online store themes Click Customize, go to our product pages, choose the default product template. And within this product information area, we've got all the blocks that show up and down here. And we've got options for an accordion. There's not quite as many options in the Galleria theme, but we could create an accordion here. Click on it, change the name here. We can type in static content if you want, or add a dynamic source, or you can actually pick a page right from here. So it's got the same functionality, it's just not separate blocks in this theme. So I hope that's been helpful. If you have any questions, please reach out to our support team and we'd be glad to help. Thank you for using our themes and have a great day.